you look behind me, it definitely looks like a typical job site. There's so much stuff going on. You can see the pond is well underway with the excavation here. It is awesome to see this vision coming together. When we put this idea together six months ago, people didn't really understand what it was gonna be like. This is exactly what I thought it would be like. Everybody working together, getting dirty together, creating together. This is week one. We have seven more weeks to do this. Every single week is gonna be a different experience with a different artist of the year. Follow along because this is gonna be a fun journey. And here comes the Armada. I love it. Putting Jack's vision to work here. We got the Atlantis crew all the way from New Jersey, followed by the Aquascape support team. I love it. <laughs> Jack's riding on the top. OSHA approved. Well, at least if he falls, he falls in the sandbox studio. This is gonna be fun. So keep checking back all day long on my Instagram stories to see what this actually becomes. I love my job. definitely moving along. We talked so much about how we wanted to create a replicatable backyard, but we also wanted to create a replicatable job site. If you look behind me, it definitely looks like a typical job site. There's so much stuff going on. You can see the pond is well underway with the excavation here. We're about three feet deep over and through this area. So we've got a big deep pond coming in through here. And then like Jack talked about earlier, it's gonna kind of lead into a deep stream that way. We knew we would have excessive amounts of soil. So we're starting to take this soil and create a nice berm over here. We got Colby on our dingo. He's just getting all that soil moved back over there to create the berm for our waterfall. And then we're gonna have to start shuffling some of this stuff out of here. But things are definitely moving along. We've got protection back there on the shed. Just keeping the dust and things down a little bit. Keep that, minimize the amount of cleanup we have to do. We'll probably even have to want to get some fabric on here just to minimize how much cleanup we do in this space too. But it's coming right along. Love the progress. This is gonna be fun. going in for our intake bay right here. The pond is just about dug, so we are ready for fabric and liner. <laughs> to see this vision coming together. When we put this idea together six months ago, people didn't really understand what it was gonna be like. This is exactly what I thought it would be like. Everybody working together, getting dirty together, creating together. This is week one. We have seven more weeks to do this. Every single week is gonna be a different experience with a different artist of the year. Follow along because this is gonna be a fun journey. We got cooking here, bro. We got cooking. Uh, it's putting the bolt in now, making sure it's all level. It's gotta probably stomp it down a little bit on that side, but other than that, it's pretty much good. I level all out through here with the level, so that way all the aqua blocks sit flush with each other. What are we doing though? What is this portion of the pond that we're doing? Uh, it is the intake bay where all the water is gonna filter through here through these aqua blocks, and it's gonna go back over that way somewhere to our stream. We've got a series of aqua blocks kind of in through here, and then we've got the pump vault, right, which will house our pumps. Basically, a skimmer on steroids, right? Exactly. All right, and then we'll just discuss all this stuff with rock work. The neat thing about it is, is that we will get enough water in here to where the fish can, it'll look like an extension of the pond, yeah? yeah all right. Awesome. Right on. Yeah. What do you think? Coming along good. Yeah? Good deal. <laughs> well, he's like, this sucks. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> all right, 
go ahead, improvising. Hey, where's the baseball player? Corey, come on. Put that arm to work. Carol, but. Yeah, one time. because I'm doing it one-handed. Hi. Is he in the part one? <laughs> no, I think you just hit a fly. <laughs> what do you think it so far? I really love the way it's turning out with the large boulders, just going right down to the bottom. When this is full of water, just imagine standing on that deck and you see all that structure going right down the bottom. I love just deep ponds, yeah. you know, when there's not a whole lot of shallow. Yeah. It gives an illusion that it could be five feet deep, you know? Yeah, there are some layers in it, but most of it is just like sheer drop right to the bottom. I, yeah. I think it's, it looks so awesome with those big fish swimming through here. Oh, it's gonna be great. It just, it looks like a rock pool. Like, you know, something you would see like that would be stumbled upon in nature. It's just like so substantial, all those, the big boulders. Do you like the way uh, Hanson over there incorporated the piece of driftwood? I hate it. Wow. <laughs> I, hate it. I didn't want to say anything, but yeah. <laughs> But no, nice, what's nice is we haven't put water in it yet, so we can still tweak it a little. Yeah, no, I, I do like it. I like the driftwood. We've got a, a huge piece over there that I think we're going to put in the landscape. We're going to have to. I mean, it's, it's, like, it's like seven yeah, feet wide. In the shed. It's seven feet wide, but I, I'm really excited to see how it's going to look when it's finished. Like when we work the flat areas into the top and we incorporate that, that landing area off of the deck. Yeah. I think that's going to be great. We're just kind of that, that tie in from the pond to the hardscape is going to yep. be important, I think, because that's going to make it look realistic. Of course. Yeah, this is looking really, really good. How do you think we're doing as far as finishing Friday? You know I've got a flight out of here like around noon. You think you can finish Thursday? No. Oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> I think we're looking good. If we can get the pond pretty well situated today, I don't see why we can't get done by Thursday, Friday morning. Nice. So right now, we got Chris down here doing some detail work. You've got Wally and Brennan over there doing a lot of detail work underneath the deck. Yeah. Chris's stump, which actually looks really, really cool, and I think helps us tie it in with making it look natural and everything else. We're gonna have to wash the heck out of this thing to make sure it's crystal clear when the fish get in here. Otherwise, seeing the fish swim from here to there would well, be kind the of... the thing is, these rocks were all outside covered in snow and mud that froze on them. <laughs> we're waiting for them to fall out so we actually can wash So we're getting... I think we'll get it all cleaned up. I mean, we're getting really close. You've got your team over here digging out for that big rock that's sitting strapped up over there. We'll get that in. There's a few more in here. I think we might get the opportunity if we have enough liner in there, even to sneak in. Like, we want to do a little irregular natural stone patio off of that corner of the deck. Maybe there's a way to even cantilever out a big piece over this little cove. We have some of those big slabs over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I think they're the same material as, yep. as the patio material. So I think if we put one of those in and we tie that patio in, it'll look like it makes sense. Yeah, that'll look so great. So we don't have that, that line where it's like a different type yep. of stone. I think that'll look great. All right, well, it's looking awesome. It really feels like, <laughs> like a job site, doesn't it? It feels like I've done the Flower and Garden Show before and we were talking about just like being inside and the machines running. The only thing we're missing is all the demo saws. Yeah. Cutting stuff, <laughs> but I'm sure soon, that's coming. Soon enough, soon enough. I love it. I love it. I love the way it's looking. I just love the fact that we have this backdrop to work with. It's going to make it so realistic with the finished product. All right, let's get you back up into your office. <laughs> in <part one. laughs> all right, guys, well, a lot's going on today. We got everybody working busy in the back even inside the shed we've got our fish tank going in George from 12 Coral G's here and he's actually filming this he's putting together a really cool fish tank in here oh it's gonna look amazing a bunch of rocks <laughs> Once we get that glass cleaned off, it'll look a whole lot better. But that's really one of the main missing elements to our office slash bar slash shed slash man cave slash studio. It's gonna look amazing when that's all done. Let's go see what George is up to in the back. George! <laughs> 
That was awesome. It's totally not safe with you standing up there. And, no. I mean, it's, like, it's not like you'd fall off a building, but a small building. It makes everything a little bit trickier, but it's kind of fun. You sort of forget about it. Once you start focusing on the tank, you forget you're like, you know, seven feet suspended <laughs> in the air. So are you guys trying to reuse all the same elements from the old tank, or are you just redesigning something totally new? I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to figure out how to use the rock that was in that tank, but I think we're going to be using a lot more food plants. So I'm deciding right now whether I want to end up using the mangroves. Ultimately, you're not going to be able to see them, so I probably will end up loving them. But I am trying to see what, basically right now, it's like a high school basketball team. <laughs> and I'm making cuts. And the mangroves, even though they're really tall, just don't add a lot of skill, so. There we go. We're looking at first round cuts right now. <laughs> it's like a high school basketball team. I can't wait to use that analogy in the next five minutes. <laughs> I think I'm going to make some cuts real quick. Can't wait to show you guys that all finished up. It's going to be an epic space. Well, I'm still smiling, which means I actually still have a little bit of energy left. It's been kind of a long day. We've gotten a ton of stuff done. We're still working hard. You can see here and see the machines going there. You say El Jefe over here marking orders and he's got the El Jefe stance. <laughs> but I think today that's going to be a wrap. We got a lot done. The pod is 99% finished. We're going to stay out here for maybe another half an hour or so just kind of wrap things up. The guys are still working away on the fish tank inside. I kind of love that you can't see it so at some point there'll be a big unveiling and tomorrow we'll come in really focus on excavating out the stream and everything in through here. Start kind of planning this whole fountain escape that's going to tie into the stream over in here. I know exactly what Pat and Jack's trying to do, but it's a very organic process. That's going to slow things down. But I think we're definitely on schedule for finishing maybe Friday morning, maybe even possibly Thursday evening, depending on how late we want to work tonight. But loving it. Loving the experience. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. It's kind of unchartered waters for us to be working, collaborating together indoors on such a very, very large project. Hey, Tell all your friends, like, comment, subscribe, and maybe, maybe I'll give something away at some point. Bye.